Hi, and welcome back to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer, and I'm going to share with you today excerpts from Joseph's latest reading lesson. Just the other day, I put out a video on how I use uh, All About Reading for his phonics reading instruction. By the way, if you're new here, Joseph has Down syndrome. I've kind of been focusing on how I'm teaching my child with Down syndrome to read. It's really not a mystery at all. It's really like teaching a typical child, only in my opinion, it's been just much slower. The progress has been slower. I'm just going to put the camera down and film a little bit of our level one. This is going to be lesson, I think we're working on lesson 22 or 23 right now. Let's do t e t ten. Ah, ten. Very good. Ten. Oop, what letter is this? D. Oop, look at it again. B. It's a B. 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 Like is your my arm is bent. There it is, it's bent. Pump. Pump. Pump mouse. Right, like a pump house. Look real carefully. Bu there you go. Bu uh, mm. Whoops, it starts with a B. Bum. Good reading, like a bump on the head. Ow. <laughs> what is this word? Dumb. Yes, you know that word right away, don't you? Let's pull some letters off our board. The board. Here we go. Can you read that word for me? Ah, uh, hunks. What? Hunks. No, just ah, ah, hunks. hunks. No, nope, just ox. <laughs> ox. 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 I'm done. We'll be done in a little while. Here's another word. Stop. Ready? Punch. Punch. Yes, punch. Like punch. A punch. A punch. Okay. Power. Power Rangers. Oh, like in Power Rangers, do they yeah. do that? That's a guy. A guy. Come on. A guy. Come on. Mom. A guy. It's not a guy. Nope. This is an animal. Emma? Mm hmm. Read it. Yeah. Ant. Ant. Very good. Yes. What was this word? Tongue. It wasn't. Remember, it started with a P. A punch. It was punch. If we take the P away. <laughs> oh, excuse you. Excuse me. If you take the P away and we put it in L. What do we have? Uh, lunch. Yeah, lunch. Let's, Let's read this word. Just a lot of case. Keep reading. You gotta look at the board and read. Stay focused. Joe, stay focused. I see your yes. Ready? Uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? He runs super fast, doesn't he? Next word. Yeah, we gotta stay focused. <laughs> hey, look at me. We have to stay focused. Read this word and then you're gonna get a sticker. <coughs> I'm done. Not yet. Read this word and you'll get a sticker. Okay. 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 Just say the sounds you see. Ready? Yeah. Six. Six. Show me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoop, you got seven there. Show me just six. Six. Good job. Let's put this sticker on your hand. Do, 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 uh, dust. 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 Uh huh. Do you sometimes wipe the dust off of the counters? Nem. Right. Watch. Light on, light uh, off. Uh, uh, right? A lamp. A lamp. So that was just a glimpse into a lesson. We've probably been working for a total of about 15 minutes. In that 15 minutes, we worked on, you saw us work on flip books, and then we also did two 
of these rows of words from the fluency practice. And so that's why I say it takes us a long, long time to finish a lesson, just because this particular lesson has, I think, four pages of fluency work. I don't worry so much if we only get through two rows because my goal, again, is to just give him a lot of practice. And as you can see, um, the sounding out is, it's, it's pretty rough. He definitely can do it, but he does like to uh, get distracted and look around and do all other kinds of things. And so it really, a big part of it is just keeping him focused on what we're doing. So we're just gonna take a moment and I'm gonna read a story to him and then I'm gonna see if we can come back and do just one more row of words. Monster trucks have very large tires. These trucks race and do special tricks. You got your marker all open? Yeah. I'm going to give you a word in this row, and I want you to find it with your yellow marker. The word is lost. Lost? You look through this row and find the word lost. And can you point to it? Lost? Mm-hmm. Yep. Find the lost. word lost. If you found the word lost, then I want you to highlight it with your marker. That means you, that means you go like this. To highlight means you scribble over top of it, okay? Now can you find the word pump? Yes. Okay. Can you highlight it? Very good. Can you find the word tin? Tin. 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 tin? It's going to be in this top row here. Tin. Tin? You look at each word. We're looking for the word tin. Are you looking hard? Uh-uh. Come on. Nothing. You can't find it? No. Are you sure? No. Oh, you look discouraged. What's going on here? What's going on here? You have to find the word tin. No, I can't. Well, let's look again. Let's look at each word in the row. What letter does tin start with? A T. Very good. Can you find a word that starts with a T? T. T. A tin? No, here. It's there. Tin, you told me. What letter does tin start with? Buddy. Joe. Hmm? Look at me, please. What letter does tin start with? T. Uh-huh. The T. Right. So find the word that starts with the T. Let's face it, that really is not working very well today. He was able to find three words. Tin took a lot of work to get him to find that. So what we're going to do with this next row is I am just going to, where are you? <laughs> this next row, I'm going to just guide him through the words and see what we can make happen here. Bath. With a P. Mm. Path. Uh-huh, path. Very good. This is a pretty hard word. Are you ready? Let's do this one together. This starts with a D. Okay, you need to look down at the paper. D. D. Depth. Depth. That's a hard word, isn't it? How about this word? What is this word? As. Nice going. How about this word here? It starts with what letter is that? Trace it with your eyes. Okay, hands out of your shirt. We're going to stay focused here. Very good. Let's say it together. Bench. Bench. Excellent. Bench. I like that. Let's read the next word. Ready? Wait. It's G-A-S-P. Let's read it together. Are you getting tired? No. Gah. Come on. Gah. Gas. Yeah. Say it. The gasp. 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 Yes. Bend. Yes, bend. Excellent. One more word in this row, and then you get a sticker. Are you starting to cry? No. You're not? 
No. One last word. Yeah. You are a champ. That was a lot of words to read today. That was just a sample of us doing a lesson. Um, I, I pushed it a little bit in this lesson today because we didn't get to reading yesterday at all, and so I really wanted to try to get in double, which I don't think we really got in double because he was just not into it today. Um, and that's how it is sometimes. Some days he just reads those words like a champ, and some days it's really like pulling teeth. We've really done the fun things for this lesson already. On the days that we're doing all of the fluency practice, it really is long, and, and it's... um and stuff in it work. But like I said, we keep on moving forward with it. So when I come back next time, I'm going to share with you the reading series that I use for teaching sight words. And I really, really like these books. I stumbled upon them at the library, and that's what I'm going to be sharing next time. So again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe, and if you turn on the little uh, notifications bell, you'll get an update as soon as I have the next reading videos. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.